It's time to make our homes even more cozy. Yes, in the newest Grounded update, they've gone through and they have added a brand new meter. It's called the Coziness Meter. It's in the bottom right hand corner of the screen right now. You can see it's a one and this is all I had to build in order just to get Coziness to level one. Now, Coziness Meter, this is important because it actually gives you a couple of bonuses that comes along with your base. So the first one, once you get Coziness one, that you unlock is coziness hunger rate. The calm comfort of your base slows your hunger drain. Then you're going to get uh, thirst drain. And then finally, when you get to coziness level four, it will start increasing your health over time, just standing in your base. Now, there's a couple other bonuses that come along with coziness as well, and that's in the mutations tab. Once you get to coziness level two, you actually unlock additional uh, an additional hauling strength mutation for you to use as well. So let's talk a little bit more about how to increase your coziness. So this is a brand new game that I started, and I wanted to build a brand new base just to kind of show off what it's going to take in order to upgrade and get some coziness. So first things first, you're going to need to put up decorations. You're going to need a place for either like a lean to or something like that more or less just go to your standard base most of your bases that you've already built if you've added some sort of decorations will already be at coziness level one when you first start if not it's just going to take some decorations once you start going through and you start unlocking more things in coziness what you'll notice is you'll start unlocking a couple other buildable items as well like for instance this fireplace this fireplace is unlocked at coziness level one this is one of the new buildings that's actually added into the game that you can use so i'm going to go ahead and just move a couple things around here a little bit i'm going to go ahead and destroy this wall here if i can after i move this little torch over here Actually, you know what? I can just relocate walls nowadays, so I'm just going to go do that. I'm going to relocate these walls, and I'm going to make it so I actually have a little bit of a tunnel that's going on here, so we can go out to another base. It looks like it's going to work out pretty well for me. Let me grab this floor here and build a little bit of a tunnel out there that way. Perfect. Okay, so this seems like a really good place for me to put another little addition if I can. Let me just, let me just change this around a little bit to uh, get this to go this way here instead. There we go, here we, there we go. Delete that, delete that, and then we're gonna just take this and kinda go like this. Get ourselves a little bit more room to build with. Get ourselves a little bit. This is one of the new building mechanics in the game as well. You now have the ability to click and drag build things. Now, I do have building unlocked and free. That's why I'm able to go through and do that without having to actually put down materials. But it will work for blueprints as well. Let's go through and build a fireplace, though. Now, fireplaces, they're kind of expensive. And but they look really good once you actually build them and you can build them into the wall if you want to as well I'm just building this one kind of in the middle of nowhere um, Then you go through and you can actually put pieces up on top of it like this And that will make it so you can actually build a tall fireplace And you can see it actually has a little hole there because yes, you can get a fireplace vent that goes in the top and then once you light this guy sm Smoke will sooner or later start coming out of the top of it. There you go. See just like that Cool. So that's going to upgrade my coziness. You can see just by putting up this one fireplace, I'm already almost to coziness level two. But what else do you unlock with coziness level one? You also unlock the burr partition here. This burr partition, this is just another way to add a little bit more flair to your base for you. And all in all, all you need to do is just kind of go through and add a whole bunch of things to the walls to get your coziness up. Now you can see that certain things will add a lot more coziness than others. And sometimes it does take a little while to get the coziness meter to go up more. But all in all, the more buildings you have, the more decorations that you have in your building, you'll start to unlock higher levels of coziness for you to use inside of your base. So really, it comes to all of you base builders out there who have been looking for something to do with your spare time or more decorations for your base. There is over 90 items. Let me get this building up to level two and we'll talk a little bit more. All right, coziness level two. You also unlocked a emote of squat but there you go there was that mutation that i was talking about hauling hero we got ourselves up to coziness level two and what that did is made it so now 
we have the ability to build all sorts of more decorations. And that falls into this tab here. We have these acorn shelves that we can put up now. And the cool thing about these acorn shelves is that these acorn shelves actually can be decorated. They're not stuck in the same ordinance as, as most things in this game where you can put them down and there they are. They just look like that. For instance, like this lounge chair here. You can put it in and you can move it around all you want to. You can sit in it, but that's about all you can do with it. Where these shelves, you can actually go through and you can customize these shelves and add some different things from this farmhouse one to the rustic maximalist to all the way going over here and getting the deep dish one for you, if that's what you so want to have. Each of them have their own little aesthetic features that you could add on here. Um, but what I'll tell you is getting from status two to status three, things start to get really tricky when you get to your comfort levels because you, s you start needing a lot of things in order to get any sort of upgrades for your character here when you start getting all of those different decorations you start needing better floors you start needing better walls and things start to get pretty intense with all the different things that you're going to need in order for you to actually get there one of the easiest ways to get there actually is by going around and gathering up statues you can actually go to different labs and find statues i'll run all right over to um the oak lab and i'll show you guys an example of one of the statues here Okay, so this is what the statues look like. I ran over to the hedge lab, not the oak lab, the hedge lab, in order to grab the first one. This is called the aphid figure. Now there is seven of these in the game. And when you grab these, they're also gonna give you the rascal rogue mutation as well. The rascal rogue mutation is a good one here. Let me get the heck out of this base here so that way we can get away from all these angry robots. Um, but the rascal rogue mutation, this one's pretty good. What it's actually going to do for you is it gives you the ability to steal items from mobs while you are fighting them. Now, what this means is if you have something like a boss, or well, it doesn't really work with bosses, but other things like red ants and stuff like that. Like I was fighting a fire ant last night and I literally got a fire ant head while I was fighting it just randomly. It just gave it to me. So it's a way to get some extra resources from things while you're fighting them. And while you grab each of the statues, it's actually going to upgrade even more that mutation, allowing you to steal items more often. Okay, back to our base. An easy way to go through and actually get upgrades for your base is by going through and doing statues. Statues add a lot of comfort. You can see right there the amount of comfort that I'm getting from just putting down a few of these statues. Now, I'm not saying go through like I am and put down 20 statues on the floor of your base because these are actually quite expensive to build. Honestly, these statues are. So you're going to want to be careful with how many of these you're actually putting down. If you look, just building this one is some acorn shells some acorn tops and some weed stems and this is like the cheapest one that you can get that you can actually build here we go we're gonna go up to tier three here in just a second there it goes now we're at tier three coziness and you can tell that my base is pretty much completely filled up and at tier three you unlock hauling hero level two this allows you to carry even more weed stems and grass planks when you're running around i also unlocked a bunch of awnings for my building so if we come here i got a trash can right very good got myself a new trash can i unlocked those awnings for my buildings that are right over here these are pretty good for you to make like a little covered section of your base if you so want that um but more importantly what a lot of people probably noticed as soon as i open this up you actually unlock the hot tub now this hot tub is awesome because this hot tub actually makes it so you can actually gain health back as though you're sitting in the hot springs back over by the um the charcoal pit that's up there you can actually put one of these out and sit in the hot tub just like this and soak away and give yourself a nice cozy spot for you to regain some health you can see right here inside of here you're getting the hot spring mutation bonus here rejuvenating waters of natural sp hot springs are healing you over time so this is really good for all of you who are just looking for somewhere to hang out and heal up in your base before you get it to coziness level four now coziness level four like i said is going to be a little bit more of a pain it's going to be harder to get there um, because of the sheer amount of items that you're going to need in order to get yourself there 
there. But once you get to coziness level four, you're going to start unlocking some pretty cool stuff that you're going to be able to use. So the other thing you get with coziness level three, which I forgot about completely, is this bunk bed. It's more or less just a crow feather bed, but upgraded to be a bunk bed. So yeah, it's it's cool to have one of those. Everybody always wanted a bunk bed, right? You guys always wanted a bunk bed, share, hang out with your buddies, sleep on a bunk bed together? No, just me? Okay, cool. All right, let's see if I can get myself to coziness level four with just a bunch of statues. So it is definitely possible to get to coziness level four with just a whole bunch of statues. And what this is going to do is this is going to unlock the nice pine cone roof tiles for you, as well as a nice picture frame for you to put up above your bed as well. It gives you a pine cone shelf and more dry grass partitions for you to be able to use some different variations. Now, I literally had to make an army of terracotta aphids in order for me to be able to get this. And I've heard that there is a coziness level four five i still have yet figured out how to get there but as soon as i know you guys will know because there's still more that you can unlock including a pedal bed and maybe it could just be locked out at the moment due to it being a public test build but all in all with an army of terracotta aphids you can go through and unlock the final of a couple different things for yourself including that koi fish scale shelf right there or the pine cone shelf if you want to now both of these are going to have the same stuff that you put on it from the other ones so it's not like you're going to put down some shelves and get different items it's still the same three right and you still get the same stuff see still looks really good but all in all that's what you're going to end up getting from those um i did not unlock the final bed and as you go through and you build up a bigger and bigger base i think maybe you'll need to unlock a certain point or something like that like i said i'm not really sure how to get to tier five yet so i'm not going to mislead you guys and say just keep building things and sooner or later you'll get to tier five but as i know i'll make sure that i make a video and show you guys how to unlock all of those extra items but guys that's going to do it for this one we're going to figure out that tier five coziness figure out the rest of the mutations in the game and check out even more cool things for this new ground update in the next one.